Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. Today we are going to discuss about UI kit in Pega and what is the rule set and what are the different versions that are released by. So let's get started into the topic. Normally, Pega UI kit uh, is one of the UI component introduced by Pega in 2015 and first version uh, they have released is with uh, Pega version 7.1 and after each and every update of Pega they also uh, did some fixes, introduced a few concepts in UI kit and uh, this particular UI kit is upgraded and what this uh, UI kit rule contains it's a rule set UI kit 7 it contains rules and skins that you can use for building or customizing your Pega applications with, uh, with different features so we have different features that are available with this UI kit like designing your interface building portals styling your application and uh, it supports localization it supports accessible UI it uh, helps us for debugging our UI if you face any issues and uh, this UI kit contains of small small templates, patterns, components and reusable tools as well and uh, suppose if your application want this uh, UI kit to be used you have to add this UI kit application in your uh, built on applications in your application stack to use its features and uh, I want to uh, show you like uh, where exactly this can be added so once you are into your application go to definition and here you can see UI kit so this is the UI kit application that is already packed with our Pega PRPC and you can see there are different versions 8.0.0.1.9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 so all of these are the different versions that are given by Pega so you can check uh, like uh, based on your Pega base version you have to select your Pega UI kit version so if you get it out just click on this open and see this is built on Pega rules 8 now this is uh, 15.0.1.0.1 now I am going to open this rule set see 3.0.1.0.1 is compatible with 7.1.8 so in the same lines you have to check what is your Pega version and you have to point to the correct rule set so that it will be compatible and you can use the features of your kit now in Pega Infinity we are not uh, using much why because Pega itself saying indirectly not to use this UI kit because we have got uh, Cosmos UI, React UI, React UI and Constellation as well and if you see here after 8.4 Pega has stopped giving updates to this UI kit that means uh, it is indirectly proposing like go with the latest features uh, for uh, UI related concepts let's see what are the different rules that are available in this 15.0.1.0.1 you can check uh, like uh, in UI kit we have got activities binary file controls data pages declare expressions flows so um, this particular UI kit is useful for both mobile devices and uh, web browsers as well so it supports many things and if you want to use some skin rules also you can directly use it and if you want to customize any rule suppose this is py end user skin rule so you know that in skin rules we can define different uh, components like screen layouts, overlays, layouts, controls and everything so this is one of the most used uh, skin rule uh, that is available in Vega so if you want to customize this over to you also you can save as this particular skin rule why because it is still available there might be some rules where uh, it is uh, finalized so those rules you should not be extending to your application layer that is what rule resolution says you can go back to my video where uh, I have explained rule resolution concept very precisely and you can see final rules withdrawn rules so withdrawn rules means we should not use even though you have already customized in your application that's fine but extending this withdrawn rule is prohibited and final rules you can check as well see there are many final rules that are uh, there in UI kit 15 so these particular final rules you can use only from this particular layer but you can't extend your application and use it so this is about UI kit and uh, what happens so suppose if you have 
uh, imported UI kit, right? It's very easy to make our application uh, use uh, building of uh, sections with the ready-made templates that are already given by Pega. And if you want to customize, as I've said, you can do it. And uh, this is all about uh, UI kit. If you have more uh, queries on UI kit and all, you can just go to this rule set and you can explore and make sure that whenever your application suppose a few applications i know that uh, they might be hesitant to upgrade their version so in that scenario it's better to check what is the latest uh, or updated uh, rules and what are the different changes that are already there in version wise and by seeing this compatibility you can check that and you can define here suppose your application is pointed to 8.1 so it is compatible with 12.0.1.0.1 so under your application you can give 12.0.1 so it will be uh, syncing with this particular version and you can see that uh, this UA kit hyphen 7 if they did not uh, rename this uh, particular uh, rule set name also why because this is introduced from 7 uh, and Pega has uh, extended the same thanks for watching this video hope you understood this concept please share comment on this video if you like it and please subscribe to my channel as it is free of cost and you can listen more videos from me